solve more problems with creative financing. I saved this lady's life as she felt because her husband, her ex-husband was getting out of jail. She was abusing her and she had this house and she got notification from the prison that he was being let go and she wanted to be gone, not seen. And so essentially we were able to quickly buy this house by buying it subject to. And it did need some work when we bought it, but there was a great interest rate. And uh, we only had to pay, I think like 10 grand uh, to her, or maybe 20 grand, I forget, of equity to her and then do a little bit of renovations and then we took over this house which we had rented for several years tenant moved out and now we're close to gonna make uh, almost two hundred thousand dollars on this property of net income after we sell it so now i came out to the property to see what needs to be done because i haven't been here in four years and see what we need to do for renovations so that way we can probably put 40k into it and then just turn around and sell it and make that 200k uh, that we expect to on this house so let's check it out so overall, kind of paint looks good. It probably needs a paint job. Um, I know these are new floors. We have new AC that we've done on this property with new duct work. Uh, definitely needs a kitchen. Um, would eliminate this. And so it's not like blocked off. It makes it look, the kitchen look smaller. So redo the kitchen, paint. Um, definitely remove the dolphins with paint, remove the mojito glass with paint. And so paint floors over here. You know, some drywall stuff needs to be done. This bathroom, I remember, is super ugly. Yes, very ugly. So redo the bathroom, a couple windows, paint. What's your least favorite thing about the bathroom? The least favorite thing about the bathroom? Look how thick this tile is. Like, this is going to be a nightmare to, like, pick off. But that, I don't have to do it, so just pay someone to do it. That's it. Bang, bang. Um, people love the backyards, is what people have said. Probably needs a fence up there. Um, some tree work. Pool needs to be cleaned better. I don't know what the pool guy's doing. Um, you have a pool guy? We do have a pool guy, apparently. I don't know if he's been doing it, so. Pool guy, pool cleaned up. This is the laundry room. New hot water heater I didn't know about. So, pretty quick, easy fix. Oh, here's probably an issue people don't like, so. That's probably why buyers are backed out. Rotting wood. Rotting wood is probably water intrusion. So let's take a look at the outside and see. So it's maybe from like one of these pipes is leaking. So figure that out, fix some of the fence. I think the roof is only 10 years old. So we'll probably not change that yet and see if it comes up on uh, inspections when we get a new future buyer. But essentially not like a, a lot of ton of work that needs to be done in the property. Just take care of the issues that people see because like that buyer was an FHA buyer that backed out. And so they want to come in when they're putting very little down, they want to have any issues or any repairs that really need to be done. You want to like a turnkey house. They don't have anything, any worries else to worry about. So even like doing the roof probably is an added bonus because they don't have to worry about, hey, in 10 years I have to do a roof, you know? How are they going to get that money? How are they going to get that 10, 10 grand to do a roof? So all these floors are redone. So essentially just paint. So I'm gonna get a contractor in here, do a quick little quick little rehab and put it back on the market and get that 200K. We can use that capital to redeploy, lend people money, buy more assets. There's bikes back here. Bikes! Want a new bicycle? Um, so rehab this property. So this property too, like there's tile all around. Like there's a nightmare to tear all this down. There's a nightmare to tear all this down. And redo it. Just the demo is going to be expensive. How much uh, total expenses are you expecting? Um, let's see. Two bathrooms, probably like 11 grand for the bathroom. Some floors, say roughly, say five. So 16, some windows, say 20. The kitchen, say 25. Probably like 30, 30K in total without the roof. You know, with the roof and some exterior, maybe 40K. So I put 40K in this property. I was trying to sell it for 365 without doing a renovation. We got offers, but they backed out. That happened twice. So now if we put 40K into it, we can actually, the ARV is 425. So we'll make a little bit more extra money by having a, a turnkey property that needs nothing. Everything's done. Makes more sense for a future buyer where they can come in and not have to do any work to the house. And they know they got a good property. So obviously these are other things that come up. This door is shit. So fixing this. Or seeing about fixing the door completely, replacing the door. What is that? Um, oh, I would hate to resurface the pool. That's like five, six, seven grand. A new screen? No, this is overall. I think we did this after the hurricane, so we rescreened it. 
Uh, hopefully we don't need to do that. I don't think we do. Everything looks kind of good there. Panels or trim back some of the trees from being on the panels. And I don't know what that fits back there with that wood. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. So we'll trim this up, junk this out. Got fucking all this stuff here. I didn't even know this stuff is here. So the old tenant left us here. I guess the camera guy I hired, which was in LA, didn't send me pictures of this at all. Like I don't even know this was here. So fucking bicycles over here. Got decent little bikes here. Bikes! Um, so cleaning this up, moving this little dog kennel over here. No, it was probably for a dog. I know she had a dog. Yeah, there's dog shit there. I wouldn't put a fence here because all these trees are in the way. So essentially just replacing that back fence there from those weird boards. That's it. And so we'll get a contractor out here to give us a bid on this price, do everything, clean it up, put it on the market, make 200K. So it's early, late November, early December. We will probably take this rehab a month with holidays, maybe like early January, put it back on the market. Hopefully get a buyer really quick, mid February, 200K in the pockets. And then we'll go redeploy that capital or turn around and lend it to other folks. So if you need the lending for your double closes, your escrows, things like that, uh, transactional funding, let me know. We do that for folks. Um, link in below how you can contact me for that. Make sure you subscribe and see if we actually get that 200K. Do you think we do it? Put in the comments, yes or no. Should we get more or less? Should we sell it? Should we keep it? Let me know.